Hi everyone, this is Praveen Dure from Dice University and in today's video, we are going to talk about the introduction of Propel Media Native Advertising Traffic Network tutorial. Let's go! Welcome to today's video everybody and in today's video, we are going to introduce the Propel Media as a native advertising traffic network guys so this is actually the home page of propel media so we'll be coming to the native uh, sorry the propeller media very very soon but like i told you we are introducing the propeller media as a native advertising platform so now comes the question the most straightforward question what is native advertising if i i just want a straightforward answer from you i don't want you to talk blah 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 and all this kind of stuff what is native advertising native advertising is a form of online advertising that match the form and function of a platform on whichever it appears simple as that that is the straightforward answer for native advertising but of course straightforward answer is not always clear and at least you need to talk something that you need to understand right so if you if somebody asks you a straightforward answer next time for your question just tell them something that you don't understand like what i just did okay like I tell you, native ads is a form of online advertising that match the form and function of platform on whichever it appears. Which means a native ad is an ad which looks exactly uh, in the form, I mean like the design as well as the function looks exactly in the same editorial content they are. That is the thing about native ads. So there's few example of native ads. The one that's very famous is the native search engine ad, whichever the ones that you will actually see in Google. You know, when you search for Google, there will be ad coming up. Let's call the native search ads. The next one is like native social media ads. You can actually find this in Facebook. Uh, they will have this promoted content and all this kind of stuff. You do have like native Twitter ads also where there's like promoted uh, promoted by content so this kind of stuff usually happens in social media and native ads is actually very, very famous when it comes to social media maybe a lot of people actually think that native ads is only ad when it comes to editorial content post blog post actually there's a lot of stuff when we talk about in feed uh, native ads social media facebook are one of the most highest in feed native ads users guys and most of the social media linkedin uh facebook uh pinterest what else twitter and all this kind of stuff they actually use the native ads of in feed and next one would be the native news feed and these are usually promoted in a publisher's website like for example like news related website for example buzzfeed the onion uh forbes and all these kind of stuff that uh, would be like a news news kind of uh, websites right so in here you can actually see the native ad looks like a native news feed ad and the next one would be the native advertorial ad, which is the one which is very common. Like for example, you have a blog. You have a blog which writes about travel and then you have a lot of blog posts and suddenly in between you have a native ad which is, talks about a shop uh, traveling or a hiking shop for example but it talks about that shop and it leads you to that shop as well that there's there's a link attached within that content which will lead you to that shop as well but this is actually an ad so this is what we call as a native advertorial ad and another ad that's a lot of people they don't know they think that this is not a native ad it's actually a native video ad you have to understand that native advertising is not limited to text or images alone. Videos are also native ads, guys. So if you if you have you seen a video ad and then it looks exactly like a native ad, you can also imagine always imagine like this. For example, you see a video ad and then you try to think, what if it's not a video ad? What if it's a text? What if it's an image? Then it's a native ad. And definitely that video ad is also a native ad. Okay? So video is also in the form of native ads. So basically, what is the goal of native ads? What, what, what is native ads trying to achieve? Basically, two main things. 
First thing is to position the brand image in the consumer mind. For example, when you have a native ad, the native ad is one of the best advertising for branding, for brand endorsement, for brand, anything related to brand, native ads is the king. And this is one of the main goals of native ads, to be top when it comes to branding. And they are already there, but I think they will go much, much more further. Another goal of native advertising is driving customer to a particular action as in case of the search engine ad, like for example, the one that I told about the Google, right? So for example, you type something and then you see an ad and then you go ahead and click on that ad. So you're actually driving customer to a particular action when you just go ahead and search for that particular word. But like I told you, that's the goal. So why, why you should actually use the native ads? You remember, remember one thing, in our advertising saturated world, customers has become very, very savvy. Consumers has become very, very savvy. They actually can recognize advertising from mile away, guys. Trust me. They can even, that's, that is why they actually develop this kind of banner blindness as well as this ad fatigue is because they can actually recognize the advertising from mile away. And additionally, customers tend to view the information which is within the ad very, very badly. They have a very, very bad negative thoughts regarding ads you know like ads means somebody is paying and it's fake and all this kind of stuff so since somebody is paying to be printed or said or acted uh, the customer actually or the customer or the the consumers actually have a very very high hesitation when it comes to ads and native ads are actually developed exactly to combat these issues mainly banner blindness guys native ads was developed in the year 2013 and it was directly to combat banner blindness and by looking at the content around it native ads actually camouflage the marketing message so that they look and sound exactly like the editorial content and this blending makes it more powerful than the native ads would be perceived as an editorial content itself but when it looks like editorial content all this kind of stuff doesn't that make the native ads a little bit sketchy a little bit scammy like doesn't it make the native ads looks like hey that is actually misleading don't guys don't worry about that a recent study shows a recent study from Stanford University actually shows that nobody can be actually fooled by native ads that means people actually know that it's a native ads but the real thing is they don't care. They like native ads. And that is the highlight of native ads. I can go on and on about native ads, guys. But today we are going to talk about Propel Media. This is the thing that we're going to talk about. We're not going to talk about native ads fully, guys. So let's talk about Propel Media. So the PropelMedia.com is actually a performance-driven media company which connects both advertisers as well as publishers at the right content, right audience at the right time to optimize the right results. So many rights rates with the propeller ads. So the advertiser and publisher have different package to choose. Advertisers are linked with targeted and interested global audience while using like algorithms and database information to generate uh, optimal results for publishers it will be like making use of the propeller propel media's technology we are not going to talk about publishers but whatever said and done the propel media's main aim to ensure that they employ the best technology for both advertisers and publishers so this is how the website looks like so it's a very pretty straightforward homepage. Either you're an advertiser or publisher. So if you click on here, you will be led to this particular page where you are an advertiser. So you can actually go ahead and see the benefits of advertisers, the unique audience, the light box, deliver a remarkably first impression in a slick and innovative way. They do have push ads. They do have a new tab ads so right that's nice and uh they do have native ads as well so you can actually go ahead and create your account over here but before that you can actually see over here the propel media reports uh adjusting of eight point and 9.8 million for the second quarter of 2018 and 19 million for the first half of 2018. You see how good the propeller ads is actually growing that they're crazy so you can actually go ahead and 
see the ads units and all this kind of stuff or you can just go ahead and get started and if you click on the get started you will be led to this particular pop-up where if you're an advertiser you register as an advertiser of your publisher you register as a publisher if you're an advertiser you hit this button and you will lead to this form where you can actually go ahead and register so it's actually a very long form but it's actually very straightforward guys don't worry go ahead register submit your application it will take some time for them to review your application application and get you inside the propel media but once you're inside you will not be regretting your decision. That's about it in today's video, guys. I think I've covered a lot in today's video. I really, really hope that today's video was beneficial for you. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'll be seeing you in the next one. But before I go... Allow me to introduce the Dice University Forum. Whether you are trying to make your first conversion on ClickBank or scale your campaigns to six figures, the Dice University Forum offers you exactly what you need, like high-quality landing page templates, detailed case studies, and exclusive discounts. The forum has no outdated information. All resources inside are from campaigns that are running right now. Do you want to learn from super affiliates? Check the link in the description and sign up today.